What is going on guys? Good morning. It is July 4th, Independence Day. You know I'm rocking that American flag grunt style shirt. And what better way to celebrate the holiday than going out and riding the dirt bike. Today we're going to take old Red Ski out to Thunder Valley. It's still dirty. Maybe today will finally be the day we wash old Red Ski. Stay tuned. All loaded up, let's get out to the track. And we are headed out, so we're headed to Thunder Valley. As you can see, we got Allison here. She's uh, having a good time. <laughs> we didn't bring Moto Dog Murphy today because it's gonna be pretty warm, and also I'm hoping Allison can help out with some video stuff, and we don't wanna leave Murphy alone at the pit, so he's just back home. We got Carter in tow with us, who is a, a new Patreon, and he just moved out to Colorado, so this is actually gonna be his first riding experience. He just moved out like over the weekend, so I hit him up and was like, I know you just moved in, but you wanna go riding? He said, sure, so we are headed out. But uh, meeting up with some buddies as always, Tony, um, Evan's gonna be out there. It's gonna be a real good day, so just the short trek over to Thunder Valley, catch up with you guys there. You guys all already know the drill. Chris 20 getting you in. This one's coming from David Hill for today's ride day. Good morning. Hello. How are you doing today? Thank you. Of course. Happy 4th. Yes, happy 4th. Gonna have to have a talk with my factory mechanic because uh, the bar pad is definitely on backwards. Man, what do I pay this guy for? All right, guys, we're getting ready to go out now. You know how to do it to him with the red, white, and blue for Independence Day. I hit up Canada today with the uh, seven gear. So, red, white, and blue, America. We're gonna go out there and send it. Off. I seriously just cased that jump so hard I broke my foot peg. I just cased that triple so bad I snapped my foot peg off. Did you really? Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, I started to case it, but. <laughs> yeah. Because obviously I slid right there, I wasn't even going for it, I just slid out and then when I went to jump it, I slid again and just still went for it. Yeah, but. I thought you kind of slid and then still hooked it. But Happens, man. How's your ankle? Actually not bad. That's good. Really not bad. I think your pro actually went up. Oh yeah, you're right, it did. Thank you. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> don't take after me. What now? I don't know. Maybe I'll just hang out. I have more foot pegs, but I don't think I have them with me. I think they're at home, so oh, really? that doesn't help. That's a I might run home and grab them. We'll see. Don't do that. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, thanks man, me too. Well, that wasn't a good uh, first little session. I came around real slow that last time because I was seeing if Allison was gonna film or not. And I slid out up the face of this. I wasn't going to jump it luckily, but I slid, tore my grip up some. Then I doubled back around to hit it and I slid again coming up to it and I still went for the triple. And I cased it really badly. It actually didn't hurt too bad, but I snapped off my foot peg. And I don't think I have extras at the track. I have another set at home, but uh, not at the track, so might run home and grab one. Might just uh, call it quits there. That might be an omen, so 
that's a real bummer, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Making a quick trip home to grab some pegs because I know I have some at home. Um, I could stop at one of the bike stores that are closer than home, but I don't want to spend the money for pegs that I know I have. So we're just going to run all the way home. Luckily, it's not too awfully far, but uh, go there, grab the pegs, and uh, come back to the track. Back to the track we go. All right, back at the track now. Evan's helping take care of us. He's uh, filling in for the factory mechanic duty. I really appreciate everything he's doing. So he's throwing on the foot pegs for me and I'm gonna throw on a new set of grips too. So uh, luckily I have this other set, which yet again, Evan hooked me up with. So he's really taking care of me today, but slap these bad boys on. There we go. All right, C. Maroney, he got me these when I first got the bike. They lasted a good 20 hours and now they're uh, donezo. Yeah, of course. All right, so after a little hiatus, we're ready to go back out there. stuff now but um after casing that triple i felt fine like surprisingly of course broke the peg off which i know i keep saying but went home got the new one i felt fine and then um, as soon as i got on the bike to ride more my ankle just went to crap my left ankle the one that didn't break off the peg it hurt so bad the right one might have actually kind of been saved by the um peg breaking and evan was showing me that i actually bent the mount where the peg hooks in that the whole mount's bent but uh yeah my ankle my left ankle definitely feeling it now so we're gonna be taking it easy the rest of the day i'm gonna keep riding but uh just goofing around i'm definitely not gonna be hammering out any laps you probably won't have a strictly laps from today or anything but track's kind of sketchy i don't know they're watering it like non-stop they haven't stopped watering it since we've been here some parts are really wet and, and muddy not muddy but really wet and some parts are completely dry and sketchy even if you look at the face of uh, gravity cavity here 
you can see just how uh, dry it is, but making the most out of it. Uh, Carter just pulled into the pits. How is it, man? Awesome. How do you like riding in Colorado so far? Good day, honestly. Good. It's been about a year and a half to two years since I've been on a track, so it's just really refreshing. Hell yeah, man. Good to have you out here. Appreciate it. All right, guys, so we'll just uh, take a little break and go back out in a bit. All right, so I just went through the finish line. I'm going to try something with my lip, bro. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to pull over on the starting line and see if I can do a start and get some lip, bro, data. All right, babe. First, can you clip this for me? So I'm going to push the front down and just... Whoa, that's on next thing. Just flick that up. You ready? Nice, good job. Okay, and then if you'll get a video from the side as I take off, all right? Toddy B, what's up, man? How are you doing? Good, you? Doing well, man. Run like a spo today, though. It's the track. It's yeah. It's the track. Doing some more uh, boot camp here. Doing it on the left side instead of the right, so the underside. See if we can get some cool stuff from this. We'll see. We hit him with the taunt. You gonna send the triple? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I made the double, Don. Hell yeah. Definitely, dude. Honestly, I'm trying to work on this tabletop more than you. Oh yeah, it's sketchy if you take that inside, man. It's sketchy anywhere, really. Yeah. There you go, Ben and Cody. There is your fender smack. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Oh yeah, true. Cool. Actually, I'm gonna take this back. Thanks, babe. enough for the heel clicker in my patreon chat group chat on snapchat i think it was charles maybe it might have been charles maybe seth brought up that they want me to do a heel clicker and it's been a hot topic people want me to do for a long time i just i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying it's it's tough guys if you've ever tried one yourself this is a, a pretty tough move to make i think it'd be tough even just sitting still on the bike let alone being in the air but I'm trying for you guys. If Marvin Muscan can do it, I can do it, right? How do you get your legs up? I tried guys I don't think it's getting any better than that I can't wrap my legs around I don't know if I'm not flexible enough or if my legs are too short but all I can do is get my feet up in front of here just just goony but whatever let's finish it off with a little whip for you guys since uh at least I can usually do those better than what that uh heel clicker attempt was
Evan asked us for some video, so we're over here getting some quick video clips for him of this uh, road jump, we call it. Nice, man. I would have done a drive-by, but I would have died. You like that sneak attack? No, I saw that. <laughs> I know that was an abrupt change, because I didn't even say anything to you guys, but we're rolling out of thunder now. Um, came in from that last session. Track got pretty hag. The, the track wasn't great all day. Definitely not the usual thunder prep. Um, word is that one of their tractors was broken or something like that, so it wasn't ripped. There were no ruts or anything, but um, made the best of it. It's kind of a weird day, just... Uh, I know last time I was at Thunder I said it was an off day, but this day you guys saw I, I broke the peg and cased the jump and I don't know, whatever. We uh, we just made the most of it and um, I'm still leaving happy. I'm glad that the day wasn't worse than what it could have been, but um, yeah, just heading home now. It was awesome meeting up with Carter, getting to ride with him, Evan, Bronson, Todd, um, all the buddies were out there meeting Carson as well. So just heading back to uh, the apartment now and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Awesome. Great. Thank you very much. It has been far too long since Old Redski got a proper wash, so I dropped Allison off at the apartment with the Sonic drinks, and we're at the wash bays now, so going to unload and uh, finally give Old Redski the uh, wash that it deserves. All right, old Redski. I'm sorry about all the past few weeks. Been putting you on the ground way too much. Need to uh, need to keep you off the ground for a while. So I'm sorry about everything I put you through, and uh, hopefully you can forgive me, and we can move forward from here. Old Redski is finally nice and clean. We took some extra care. Even pulled out the air filter and put in the no toil wash kit, so we could wash out the air box and uh, get everything nice and clean. Definitely needed it, and uh, we'll clean the air filter and oil up a new one for this weekend. But um, it's hot, my ankle's killing me. I'm gonna pull up Authentic, that weather app that's vulgar that everyone loves. It's effing car wash time, hey, good timing. I don't get to know what these things say. Exactly, it's gonna be hot as shit. 89 degrees, humidity 22%, which really isn't that bad, but it's warm today. And I know um, in the Sahara Desert where you ride, it's 120 degrees, but I'm, I'm struggling today. So my ankle is really, really getting sore. Loading up the bike just now was a bit of a pain. It definitely hurts. When I get home, I'm gonna be icing it and elevating it, no doubt. It definitely needs some time off, but uh, overall, I'm glad we're leaving today safe. I had a lot of fun, um, even though we had the little tip over or slide out, whatever, and then ended up breaking the foot peg right after that. I still had a really good day. The broken foot peg could have been a much bigger issue, could have come at a worse time, but um, luckily, it, it, the way it happened was as good as it could for going wrong, if that makes sense. But, uh, all in all, still a fun day at the track. Tried to do the heel clicker, not even close. You guys, I'm not telling you to try to do heel clicker because I don't want you to get hurt, but like if you have a trampoline on your trampoline, jump and try and move your legs in the movement of a heel clicker, it's really hard to get your legs up that high. Um, that's pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, we tried, we failed, but uh, I think we threw some pretty good whips and uh, overall it was a good day. So I'm gonna tune out now, you guys. I'm just headed home. I hope all of you had an awesome, safe, happy, fun-filled uh, Independence Day, 4th of July. If you live somewhere else, I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July just the same, but I'm um, gonna get out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already when you subscribe. If you want notifications, hit that little bell to make sure that you don't miss videos in your sub box. And uh, that's gonna do it, guys. So until next time, as always, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. Talk to you later. And um, we got Carter in tow behind us, who is a new Patreon, and he actually just moved out to... He's in the, he's in the back with the what? bike. What? <laughs> he's in the back with the bike.
bike because he's in town with us. Do over. Do over. <laughs> okay.